big shows from NXT and Impact this weekend. I'm Matt Carlins, and this is Just Pro Wrestling News for Saturday, June 12th, 2021. A big welcome to those of you listening on WrestleMap.com. You can bring our updates to your website. Email us, desk at JustProWrestlingNews.com. Impact Wrestling. Kenny Omega defends the Impact World Championship against Moose tonight at Against All Odds. It's an Impact Plus exclusive starting at 8 p.m. Eastern. The Omega Moose main event will happen at Daly's Place. Also on tonight's show, Deanna Perrazzo puts her knockouts title on the line against Rosemary. Violent by Design's Rhino and Diener defend the Impact Tag Titles against Decay's Crazy Steve and Black Taurus. Diener is subbing in for Joe Doring, who has a singles match against New Japan's Satoshi Kojima. Kimberly and Susan challenge Fire and Flava for the Knockouts Tag Titles. There's an X Division number one contender match. Trey Miguel versus Ace Austin versus Chris Bay versus PD Williams versus Rohit Raju. Plus, Rich Swan versus W. Morrissey, Sammy Callahan and Tommy Dreamer versus the Good Brothers, and Jordan Grace versus Tanil Dashwood. WWE. Sunday night, it's NXT TakeOver in your house. Streaming live starting at 8 p.m. Eastern in the United States on Peacock and the WWE Network across the rest of the world. Karrion Cross puts the NXT Championship on the line in the main event against four other men, Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly, Pete Dunne, and Johnny Gargano. Two other championships will be defended in the same match. North American champ Bronson Reed tags up with the NXT Tag Champs MSK against all three members of Legado Del Fantasma. The winning team gets all the gold. Raquel Gonzalez defends her NXT Women's Championship against Ember Moon. For the first time since 1991, the Million Dollar Championship will be contested in WWE. Cameron Grimes and LA Knight will compete for it in a ladder match. Also, Mercedes Martinez faces Zaya Lee. Rey Mysterio has challenged Roman Reigns to a match inside Hell in a Cell, but before he could get an answer at the end of last night's SmackDown, Rey attacked Reigns with a kendo stick. Reigns was able to fight off Rey, but then Dominic Mysterio attacked Reigns. Again, Reigns got the better of the exchange. SmackDown ended with Reigns powerbombing Dominic from the ring to the floor, though the impact was not shown on camera. WWE announced on its social media late Friday night that Montez Ford suffered a partial rib fracture and a cartilage injury due to a post-match attack by Otis last night. He interrupted a one-on-one -on -one match between Ford and Chad Gable and also attacked Angelo Dawkins backstage. The battle over the crown of King Corbin could be settled next Friday. Corbin and Shinsuke Nakamura will meet with the crown on the line. Those two faced off on last night's SmackDown as well, and Nakamura rolled up Corbin for the pin. Kevin Owens and Big E beat Apollo Crews and Sami Zayn. Owens pinned Zayn with a stunner, and then Commander Aziz laid out Zayn after the match. Liv Morgan avenged her loss to Carmella from a week ago with a win in the rematch last night. Cesaro returned to SmackDown to ambush Seth Rollins during his appearance on Bailey's Ding Dong Hello talk show. AEW. The wheels came off Team Taz in the main event of last night's Dynamite. Hangman Page and Dark Order's number 10 beat Brian Cage and Powerhouse Hobbs. 10 pinned Hobbs. Ricky Starks and Hook had tried to pass the FTW title to Cage behind the referee's back. But Cage once again refused their help. Starks slapped Cage, and Cage then stalked Starks to the back. That left Hobbs alone to take a buckshot lariat from Page and be pinned by 10. Also last night, Miro submitted Evil Uno to retain the TNT Championship. Nyla Rose pinned legit Layla Hirsch with a beast bomb from the second rope. Eddie Kingston, Pac, and Penta El Cerro Miedo beat the Young Bucks and Brandon Cutler. Pack pinned Cutler. The Good Brothers tried to jump Kingston, Pack, and Penta after the match, but they were cut off by the elite hunter, Frankie Kazarian. Darby Allen refuses to find a tag partner other than Sting. He said he'll accept a handicap match against Ethan Page and Scorpio Sky on next week's Dynamite, and Allen told Sting to stay home for it. Also set for next week's Dynamite, Brock Anderson, the son of Arn Anderson, will make his debut, tagging with Cody Rhodes against QT Marshall and Aaron Solo. 
New Japan Pro Wrestling. Fred Yehai made his New Japan debut on last night's Strong. He teamed up with Wheeler Yuta, beat Mysterioso and Jordan Clearwater. Shine is back Sunday for its first show since January. The pay-per-view is streaming live on WWN Live and Fight TV starting at 8 p.m. Eastern. Eva Lise is set to defend the Shine Championship against the Shine Nova Champion, Natalia Marikova. Andrade El Idolo's first matches since he left WWE are being promoted for this weekend. Saturday, he's set for a six-man tag team main event at a show in Anaheim, California. He's in a tag team main event on a show in Los Angeles on Sunday. That is just for wrestling news for Saturday, June 12th. Be sure to subscribe to this feed so you don't miss our next update. I'm Matt Carlins. Thank you for listening. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.